Hill Highland Park Neighborhood Association presentation, and that will be Nadine Kelly. <coughs> Welcome, Nadine. Thank you. Thank you for your time. And sure. I wanted to start our presentation by exhibiting our appreciation for our neighborhood through our children. <laughs> So they've made some posters to let you all know why they love living in our neighborhood and what's so great about it. I'd like to point out that our children are not the only ones who enjoy our neighborhood. Obviously, their families do as well. Several of, the fam several of these children are third generation people living in Morgantown, so, or living in our neighborhood, I should say. Thank you. There we go. Oh, I think you guys are working through all the senses, you know. Keep that sight. Thank you. Oh. Um. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, we got to move. Yeah, I'm gonna move. I'm gonna move before we get started. Yeah. Thank you. Take it off. Get there. Thank you. Might be short on cupcakes as we had a little mishap earlier. Some of you may have witnessed. Hopefully everyone's received the promotional items that were distributed by the children. I know the cupcakes are really important, but those are also nice pieces of literature as well. Wiles Hill Highland Park. Why do we love living in this neighborhood? It's a great place to live. Well, first of all, I would like to also just introduce myself and give a little background. I'm Nadine Kelly. I've lived in Morgantown now for 11 years. I am a transplant to the area. I have lived in many, many cities, towns, villages. I've lived in New York City, Long Island, New Jersey, Greenwich, Connecticut, Pennsylvania, and now Morgantown, West Virginia. And I'm very proud to be a, a resident of the Wiles Hill Highland Park neighborhood. And it is where I have chosen to remain to raise my child. There are many reasons I am proud to live here. We describe ourselves as a community of neighbors. Our neighborhood is quiet, inclusive, harmonious, safe, clean, historic. It has that Morgantown charm. Friendly, concerned citizens live here. And we have residents of mixed ages and backgrounds. That photo was taken recently on Duquesne Ave, looking out over the city. It's a beautiful view from our neighborhood. So this is how we have um, chosen to describe where we live, based on newcomers, old timers to the neighborhood. These are words that we use when we talk about where we live. Historic will be a theme of our, our presentation tonight. So where are we? I guess the uh, highlighted parts aren't showing up so well on here, but we go, we extend all the way out to University on the left hand side of the screen on Beaver Ave, all the way to the right over to partway through Braddock, on up to McCullough at the top of your screen down there, up there, and down to partway down Jones. We cover 150 acres in Morgantown, and that includes 500 households. The demographics of our neighborhood, we have anything, anyone living there from retirees to PhD students, families, young couples, professionals, WVU faculty, quite a mix of young and old. Speaking to the historic nature of our neighborhood, this house was the first house built on Wiles Hill in 1880. It's on the corner of Virginia and Raymond. And in an attempt to have everyone, to help everyone beat the heat, we showed a winter scene here. <laughs> this, ha this little bungalow on Short Street is currently owned by a young couple who's very active in our neighborhood. And 
I, I put it on here, we put this on here to show that this is a house that used to be rental and it is now owner occupied. So what makes us so great other than our people? First, we have the Bow Park Community Center, which is on the National Register of Historic Places. The playground on that property is used 12 months out of the year by neighborhood children as well as children from, around, from other parts of the city. We hold our Easter egg hunts there, and there are people always coming from former, na former residents of the neighborhood will come by just to play on the playground and visit. We have beautiful public spaces and many mature trees providing plenty of shade in the neighborhood. We have narrow, slow traffic streets with little cut through. And in that photo is a photo of a, um, a shot of a garden from a Proud of Our Town award winner on Ridgely Avenue over in the Highland Park side of our neighborhood. I highly recommend you go drive down. The best view of that is from Gibbons. It's lovely. We boast affordable housing. Some locally owned businesses. We have a pizza place and the Express Smart there. And walkable, scenic, grassy alleys. We also have stair access to downtown. We're conveniently located within a mile of all three campuses and downtown as well as the stadium. This is a new structure going up on Highland. Um, it's a house that will be heated with geothermal heating. It's going to have a very lovely view from that fourth floor. <laughs> and this is a house on Duquesne that has the good fortune of seeing that beautiful view that you saw in an earlier slide. We have a very active neighborhood association. Next year we will be celebrating our 40 years, 40 year anniversary. Some of our accomplishments in the last couple of years, last four years, um, is a website for our, our association. We communicate using email lists. We have a Facebook page. We have regularly scheduled neighborhood trash pickups. We really do care about our neighborhood. And that is a photo from one of them. <laughs> we had recently a storm drain marking event. We have beautification efforts ongoing. Our, our association represents 30 households. We, rep, we uh, welcome new residents. We provide some of those pamphlets that you have now to our new residents coming in. So they have all important phone numbers and when trash pickup is and certain items that they need to be aware of or would want to be aware of at their fingertips. We've participated in Relay for Life walks, American Heart Association walks. We've provided volunteers to work the Rosenbaum Family House golf tournaments for a couple of years, and we've organized a chili cook-off to feed the guests of the Rosenbaum Family House for two years. I'd like to have had a picture of that here, but here's a screenshot of our website. Thanks to Councilman Nugent. <laughs> What do we do as neighbors? Well, we've had a public Easter egg hunt for the last three years. It's very well attended. And we're told it's well attended because we have no age limit. We, will, we have it open to anyone. And there is someone's lovely find at an Easter egg hunt. <laughs> Held at the Wiles Hill School. We have a community Halloween party that we've celebrated for several years. Community porch crawl events, which is a great way to get to know one another and to get to know our new neighbors and welcome everyone. We have May Day celebrations that have been going on in our neighborhood for decades. We've been the home of the National Night Out event for over 15 years. I know sometimes that's rotated, um, but in the 11 years I've been here, we've hosted it for 11, all 11 years. So on the note of May Day celebrations and our historic nature, 
I have some photos. This one's from 1957 from a May Day event. They're all dressed up running uh, around the Maypole. <laughs> this one is from 1958, the May Day Court. And I'm unfortunately not sure of the year of this one, but I would guess by the clothing that it might be sometime in the 70s. I'm not sure. This is just a photo of our lovely tree in the park with the pavilion at the Bow Park that the Bow Park provided. So on Tuesday, <laughs> August 2nd, our neighborhood is hosting once again the annual National Night Out picnic. And this year it is well everyone is always welcome, but we're trying to promote it and get more people there this year as more of a Morgantown citywide celebration. It's going to be from five to eight PM. Everyone is welcome. It'll be at the, the school, the former school. There'll be bands performing, children's activities, family fun. We just ask that you bring a side dish and a lawn chair. And that's who we are. Are there any questions? Well, first of all, I want to thank you, uh, Nadine, for coming, and that was pretty cool. I learned some stuff I didn't know about your neighborhood. That's great. Good. Thank the kids for coming, and thanks for the pictures. Uh, any questions from any council members? I wanted to point out that we brought cupcakes no. for a reason, and the reason is um, one of the ways we describe ourselves is caring caring individuals and oftentimes we will get a group of people together to provide meals to people who may have had surgery or for elderly folks who just don't feel like preparing or sometimes don't even feel like eating. So that's a regular part of what we do. That's great. That's great. Any questions? Jenny? I don't know if you all have thought about this, but as you're making presentations to us, I think other neighborhood associations might really appreciate I don't know whether they happen to be tuning in, but they might really appreciate some of your initiatives. I think it's really important for neighborhood associations to be multi-generational because I think that's sort of one huge aspect of living in a neighborhood is, is making sure that the new families coming in are welcomed, that there are some positive activities, that there are some neighborhood preservation kinds of activities, you know, all, all the different, if, if we're only about one aspect of a neighborhood association, it doesn't seem to work. So I think that neighborhood associations such as yours that are so multifaceted, um, it's really important to kind of let the other neighborhoods know. And I'm sure that that happens at the neighborhood association meeting because I've been to some of them and that is what happens. But we've got such a nice, elegant package here. It would be nice to share among yourselves somehow. And I don't, I, that would be up to you all how you did that. But I'm sure we you could really have a the... nice set of programming that would be nice to replicate around. Thank you, Tom. Yeah, the brochure is excellent. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and just Thank a point of us. information: the, the, um, the, the home that you saw that was one of our historic homes that is, appears as our logo is the uh, the home at the corner of Duquesne and Morgan Street, which is the Hornsby House currently, and it kind of serves as an anchor point and overlooks the downtown. Uh, view that we have there and I think really and, and again if I may just just kind of add this mm -hmm. you know again as was stressed Wiles Hill Highland Park is an affordable accessible neighborhood in a centrally convenient location in Morgantown and we have a number of, of properties that are available and I would encourage anyone who is interested in investing in their future and you know, buying a part of Morgantown and becoming part of our community to really consider working with a realtor, or driving through the neighborhood, and uh, you know, exploring some of the properties. I think we'd like to rebrand ourselves as a faculty and staff community. At which one point, we had a very high population of, of those those type of workers, as well as um, city employees, for that matter. And there are some some programs out there for both city employees and university employees to look at, at purchasing homes. And 
I just consider myself to be fortunate to live in such an active and prolific neighborhood. And so I just want to express my appreciation for what's been done tonight. So thank you for coming out. Now the uh, night out is again August 2nd. And what time does it start again? 5, Five o'clock. It's so one week from today at the school or the mm -hmm. community center. Okay. We the park still, hopefully if, 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 if the weather's <laughs> nice. But maybe um, to to your suggestion, maybe at the neighborhood coordinating council would be the place to, for for people to share their presentations at some point. Yeah, I don't. I don't know if you wanted to do an event and make it larger than the neighborhood association and encourage maybe you know more people to come who are maybe working on their neighborhood association. One other point that I was going to bring up is that I. Uh, was rooming with somebody who said that they were, you know, they were brand new to Morgantown, and when they came and they were making their choice of where to live, they looked at the websites of the neighborhood associations to choose which neighborhood they wanted to live in. And so, uh, neighborhood associations that you know include all of their information are certainly um, doing themselves a big favor. I, I googled us the other day, and unfortunately, on Wikipedia, I think we're the only neighborhood that's not mentioned. <laughs> But we're going to take care of that. That's not mentioned. <laughs> mm. Mm. Yeah, take care of that. Okay, thank you again. Thank you. Okay, uh, uh, before uh, the chief uh, steps up, I'm going to, uh, we need to add two issues, if you would. Past item three, we're going to add budget issues.